Hello Scorpio, thank you for joining me today. It's Sandra from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well at this time. Um, Scorpio, this reading is going to look at your energies between the 19th to the 25th of October. I've already pre-shuffled and put the uh, Scorpio energies with two into the cards. So I'll just put the tarot to one side and we'll just do a final shuffle of the oracle cards to get an overall energy. So um, an overall energy please, one card for Scorpio, 19th to the 25th of October. And then um, a final shuffle for the um, Oracle of Visions. Okay, so your first card is an overriding energy. We've got um, staying focused, hold the course. So this is about staying focused, Scorpio. There's something, um, there's an endeavour perhaps or something you have your eye on um, or you're endeavouring to do or, or you're hoping to do or you're working on. Um, but this is saying st do stay focused and, and hold the course, hold, hold your um, route if you like. So I'll just put that to one side. Um, and then here, this is about um, waiting, timing. Um, it's the number 51. And yeah, so this is about messages, deadlines, anticipation. So an anticipation, waiting for a message to come through. Um, it may be there's something about um, deadlines coming up to do with something. We have the clock, the letter being delivered, the message being delivered, the telephone's there. Um, and the lady is sort of sitting there, sort of uh, quite um, pensive, if you like, uh, waiting. We've got the moon in the background, which talks about time and cycles. Um, so this has come out. Um, so And so the other card is about hold your course, stay focused, stay focused while you're waiting for something, waiting for some information of some sort. So let's see. Let's see where this is going for you, Scorpio. Just do a final shuffle. So we have your energy here, the challenge to that. And what's in your power times two. An outcome. And then um, a card from the bottom of the pack, which is something else the universe would like to say to you. And then we'll do a final shuffle of the Lightseer's Tarot. Okay, let's have a look at that. We've just got this card, this card that's just jumped out, so I will have a quick look at it. It's the Five of Cups. And this is the crying over spilt milk energy. And I don't want to minimise the fact that, you know, when there's been um, a loss of some sort, then, you know, it can leave a sadness. Um, but what this card, the meaning of this card is that um, you're very focused on what's gone. Um, however, what's waiting for you is far better, is far more precious, um, is far more beneficial for you. And you're going to love it a lot more than what's than what's gone. Um, it's just about lifting your focus up from the past to uh, the potential of where you're going. OK, so I'll just pop that back in. Uh, a couple of more shuffles, please. All right, we'll just lay those on top for a bit of um, depth and clarity to your reading, Scorpio. So at the heart of your reading, this is sort of looking at you and your energy and what's going on personally. Um, we have the Moon and the King of Cups. Um, so the Moon is about things that we know, things that we don't know. There's a bit of a lack of clarity in some area some things are in the shadows a bit uncertain a lack of certainty um and the clarifier is the king of cups so um the king of cups is either yourself scorpio you are a water energy you are of the cups energy in in the tarot 
Um, so, but that if this is not yourself, then um, this is somebody you know who, or somebody around you is close to you. Because this may be saying you, you're a bit uncertain. There's a, a lack of clarity to do with the King of Cups energy around you. Um, but if this is you, uh, Scorpio, um, there we have the, it's, um, uh, we have the, the fish, which is reflecting the water, emotions. It also reflects Pisces. Um, and this is a sensitive guy. Um, he's sitting in the water, so he's very in touch with his emotions. And, he, and he's, um, he's got the uh, singing bowl there. Um, so he's getting um, some sound waves coming up um, from the singing bowl, which has a healing component to it. Um, so, so this could be yourself, Scorpio, and it may be saying that at the moment you are uncertain about something, there's something in the shadows that you're trying to find out, which perhaps is why you're, you're getting the sound bath from the singing bowl, you're trying and you're looking down at it, so very deep in thought, almost med meditating there, perhaps trying to get some information um, here that's a little bit vague. All right, so um, take it out, it resonates with you. And remember, the oracle cards were saying about staying focused. And also, there was an anticipation of, of a message coming through. So in the challenge position, um, we have judgment and we have the eight of pentacles. And the judgment um, energy is when we are standing up to be counted, really, when there's a judgment to be made um, about what's happened in the past, decisions, perhaps, that have been made in the past, and then looking at them now, um, ready for going forward. So it's a time of making a judgment um, and sort of bearing all, if you like, you know, this is me, this is who I am. Um, what, what do I need to learn from the past uh, ready for um, going forward? So, so that's the judgment energy. So it's a universal um, energy coming down, if you like. So, but this is in the challenge position for you. So some form of a judgment call being made that's quite challenging in a challenge position for you. Um, and then the clarifies the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is um, the hard-working energy. Um, you can see here the young lady, she's um, working hard. She's um, got all these bowls, she's got a candle burning. Um, there's a candle both ends, so it's almost, you know, burning the candle at both ends, if you like. Um, she's been writing, she's been nurturing, growing plants and mixing oceans and potions, perhaps. Um, but this is about working hard, um, managing um, the energies around you um, and being very focused, being very focused. But it's a challenge for you that being focused and staying focused on what it is you're trying to create and the work that you're doing is a challenge for you. And, and I think that came out here where, from the universe saying, you know, hold the course, stay focused. So there's something about being preoccupied, perhaps because waiting and anticipation, waiting for something to come in, um, that's a challenge for you to be then be focused on your work and what you're doing. Um, and it may be to do with this judgment, um, trying to do a fair appraisal of the past um, and what's happened in the past. Okay. In your power position, we have the Two of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. The Two of Wands is when we're going forward and we have to make a decision which way we're going. So the two torches are lit up, lighting up the archways. Each archway has got a different energy. But at some point, um, you, you're going to be having to make a decision about which way to go, Libra. Oh, sorry, Scorpio. Sorry, I've just done Libra. So, Scorpio, you're going to have to make a decision which archway to go through. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles is a clarifier. Now, this is the um, the uh, having plenty, um, particularly a having a, a happy family environment, happy family situation with everything that you need for that um, joyful existence, for the happy family, the children, the dog, um, enough money coming in, enough 
power to your elbow if you like so contentment and contentment within within the family setup or a family situation um but this is a clarifier for the two of wands and it could be that um the decision about which way to go um impacts upon or is leading to the uh, ten of pentacles energy but it's within your power now to choose choose wisely um, as you're heading towards this Ten of Pentacles situation. And what else is in your power? Well, we've got the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, so two fours. Um, the Four of Cups is when um, there's an opportunity being presented, um, an offer, um, and you can see the man is looking up at the cup, but he's not um, excited by it, he's not thinking any time soon about accepting what is on offer. Um, he's perhaps thinking about it, but he's not, he's not accepting it at this time. Um, the Four of Pentacles is when we're having to hold something close to our chest, protect something. So you feel you, what, your energy is needing to protect something from somebody hold something close to your chest and we all have to do that at times don't we whatever it is I mean in this picture the lady is holding her purse full of coins and she's looking at the village and she's hoping that nobody's seen her come away from the village because she's trying to protect that which she's worked hard for which she's got um, so that's a clarifier for the four of cups so whatever it is that um, is being offered an opportunity being presented um, you're holding back and I think that's the message you're you're holding back because you're trying to protect what you've got so you are perhaps concerned about accepting this something new coming in and I'm just going back to what else was in your power which was the two of wands uh, and the ten of pentacles so there's something the right decision to be made leading on to abundance and plenty however I don't think you're able to recognize what it is um, you're not sure um, because what you have got you're, you're trying to hold on to you're holding it close um, you perhaps fear that if you accept this you're going to lose something of what you've got Scorpio um, let's see what the outcome is. Well, the outcome, we've got the Five of Swords and the World. And the Five of Swords is when there's been a victory of some sort, a success of some sort, um, but it's not a good one. It's, it's, a, it's a hollow victory. Um, now, I'm not sure who or what this is referring to, Libra. It would be something different for all of you. But there's been a success of some sort, but it's a hollow success. Um, here, the picture is the, the soldier holding his sword up. He's won, a, he's won a battle, but he's left a lot of people wounded on the battlefield, and, he, and he's not offering any care or thought to them. So it's so, sort of a hollow victory, really, for somebody. Um, and then the world card is the um, there's an end there's an end of a, a completion of a cycle an ending of a of a cycle a completion of a cycle happening um, that has has got to complete uh, ready for going forward in in a new direction perhaps in a new way and I I feel that that's sort of connecting in with the two of wands um, and then this the new direction going forward towards the ten of pentacles perhaps for some of you. Um, all right, so, um, okay. So as an outcome, the Five of Swords is the Hollow Victory card. Um, but there's a completion of a cycle. Something is ending. And it may, it may be that it just doesn't feel that there's been a success. It doesn't feel for you that it's been successful. It feels like a hollow victory. Um, as something is coming to a completion, ready for going forward. So let's see what else the universe wants to say to you. Okay. What the universe wants to say to you as a bit of guidance and advice 
is um, we've got the Seven of Wands and the Magician. The Seven of Wands is when we, we have the higher ground um, and you're standing your ground, you are defending yourself. You are defending yourself against others jabbing their wands here, look, wanting to overrun you, wanting for their opinions and viewpoints to be heard above yours, but you're not giving way, you're defending yourself. Um, and then probably this is what the universe is saying, you know, you've got to defend yourself. You've got to stand your ground and you've got to defend yourself um, against others' um, viewpoints and opinions. Um, and then the magician is creating, um, manifesting and creating a reality for yourself going forward. You have the, um, you have the power to your elbow. You have the means, um, Scorpio, to, to be able to create um, the future that you want. You can see what you want and you know how to go for it and how to create that. And it's saying, stay in that vision. Stay in that vision. Don't give way to the naysayers, to people that are wanting you to do something different, for example, um, or go in a different direction or have a different viewpoint or a value base. So, you know, the universe is saying, stand your ground, defend yourself, because you have what it takes to create that which you want for going forward. So, and, and the magician, it is about believing in yourself and perhaps believing magic, believe in magic, all right? Because magic is all around you. The energies are all around you for you to access. Just You've just got to believe um, in yourself and believe in the universal energies. And, I, and I'm not talking about religion, Scorpio, I'm talking about something something that is around all of us. It, there, there, is, there is magic um, in nature. You've only got to walk out of your door and walk into the countryside. It's enchanting, it's magical, it's beautiful. Nature, animals, birds. So, um, so that, that's what I mean by, you know, have, having belief, belief around you, belief in yourself, and belief in what's available for you, the universal energies. I'm just going to draw one more card for you here from the Oracle of the Angels. So, Angels, Guides, Spirit. Could we have one more card, please, for Scorpio? Just to finish this reading now. One more card for Scorpio, please. Right, Scorpio, we've got transformation um, and what the universe and the oracle of the angels is wanting to say to you is um, you are transforming. You are in a process of change, of transformation. Um, and you can see the figure here uh, on the ground, um, but she is rising up like the phoenix from the ashes. There's, there's change happening within you. Um, and, and it's quite beautiful. And you see the butterflies, which are symbols of transformation. So uh, as you raise your energies up uh, and open up to the universal energies, um, some, there is transformation happening within you. And I would gauge it's probably a spiritual transformation that's happening um, around, around and within you and around you. Beautiful. All right then, Scorpio, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Um, I've enjoyed doing the reading for you. I think it's a lovely reading. Um, but do take care going forward. Good luck, and uh, I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye-bye for now.